I am Monisha from Swadith Advisors and in this video we are going to focus on how to get prepared before applying for an NBFC license with RBI. Here we will talk about point wise checklist for coming up with an NBFC. Non-banking financial companies or commonly called as NBFCs have emerged as an alternative for banks in terms of raising funds for individuals as well as businesses. NBFCs also deploy funds to NMSMEs in India. They have become an important part of the vast financial industry in the country. NBFC is defined under Section 45.1 of Reserve Bank of India Act. They are registered under Companies Act 2013 and are governed by the regulations of Reserve Bank of India Act. NBFC offers almost every service that banks do, including performing financial intermediation, offering loans, accepting deposits, giving cash advances, leasing, higher purchase, etc. Due to a lack of the banking uh, institutions in many areas and increasing demands for loans, more and more people are able to have a profitable business in India than ever before. The first and foremost requirement would be the capital of 2 crores. The capital shall be the total of net owned funds contributed by all the shareholders of the company. Let's take a look on the meaning of the net owned funds in terms of NBFCs. RBI through its circular dated April 7, 2014 notifies an inclusive definition of the net owned funds. Accordingly, it is the combination of the paid up equity share capital and free reserves as per the latest balance sheet of the company after deducting certain items from the same like accumulated losses, deferred revenue expenditures, other intangible assets. The resulted amount is further reduced by few other items such as investment of such companies in the shares of the subsidiaries, same group companies, the book value of the debentures, outstanding loans, advances, etc. The minimum capital shall be kept in the form of fixed deposit with any of the nationalized scheduled bank. The period of keeping the FT is not specified by the RBI. However, it can be withdrawn after the license and the amount can be used as the working capital. Next important point to be kept in mind in case of NPFC registration is regarding the profile of directors and shareholders. Although there is no such prescribed requirement for qualification of directors and shareholders, but it is expected that the board of the company shall be financially literate and capable of carrying out the banking operations. Regarding the shareholders, the quality of the capital shall be fair and in good means. Overall, there shall not be any integrity issues or criminal matters against any of the related parties of the proposed NBFC. Next comes the business plan. A business plan is a detailed structure defining all the components associated with the proposed NBFC, be it loan process, loan types, capital structure, research, everything shall be well defined in a business plan. A strong business plan is the lifeline of the NBFC application and holds the strength to get through the license. Mostly professionals are well equipped with the resources to develop an efficient and and versatile business plan based upon the inputs of the applicant. The last but not the least is the documentation part. A complete checklist of the documents required for NBFC registration is not available everywhere. It is a detailed work which is to be executed in an efficient manner. The document shall be true and latest and shall be free from all the defects. For getting prepared for the documents part, one shall look for any material or other defects shall get the same fixed well in time. It is to be noted that each and every document submitted with RBI along with the application goes through vigorous scrutiny by RBI and any deficiency will on the documentation part may lead to the rejection of the application. Moreover, it is to be kept in mind that no valuable information which holds vital importance in the process of getting the NBFC registration shall be kept discreet. The lack of proper banking channels and shortage of basic banking amenities in many areas of the country have given immense opportunity to the NBFCs in making their strong feet in the banking segment. 
NBFC sector is set to expand further in the upcoming years. If someone is looking for a fastest loan approval, NBFC would be the first preference due to the stringent processes being followed by the banks. If you are looking for registering an NBFC in the upcoming days, do contact Swarith Advisors for on-call advisory. Our contact details are scrolling below.